know, we turned the ball over and then we didn't even foul. We ran, the guy that turned it over ran away from it. Go figure. But first five minutes, second half, you know, we can't play any better for a half. Controlled the tempo, took great shots, defended. Second half, they came out, made shots, and we got a little impatient. Forgot how we got the lead, and all we talked about at halftime is nothing, nothing. First five minutes of the game, the key. Second half, uh, give them credit. They made shots. They executed. Um, you know, Stiggers came in and looked like everything they shot was going in. And, um, and then we got, again, we get impatient. You know, we forget how we got leads. And that's when you're dealing with two guards that have never been point guards. Um, and they've come so far, they're getting so much better, but got to play them too many minutes. And you can see when we put on our bench why we do that. But that being said, give Houston credit, and I'm, I'm thrilled. We made plays down the stretch. You know, Jalen makes a great pass to Sean. Sean makes a huge shot. Um, Cannon makes a big three, get a timeout. I was trying to, we were trying to foul 14 a couple of times. And, you know, I don't know, I guess you got to run up to the referee and tell them. Um, but then we turn the ball over down to 21 seconds to go. And then we run away from the ball after we turn it over. That, that, that's the only thing, you know, that troubles me. But we are what we are. Um, I'm proud of these kids. They play a lot of minutes. They're getting better. Um, I told them we got to go Monday to practice and, you know, man up and try to continue to try to get better. And um, it's hard, hard seeing their faces like that and disappointment. But, you know, from a coaching staff perspective, a lot of good things out there. They all did, you know, you know, I feel bad for Nick. He got no legs. He's chasing people around. He got to make plays. Ryan goes 10 and one, you know, sister turnovers. Jalen manned up, you know, we I look around a lot of those guys and feel pretty good about, but you know, as a coach, you feel good about your team. He wants them to, see a result that they can feel good about. That's the thing that's difficult for me. But they better get us now because we got a lot of a lot, a lot of paybacks. And uh, all we can do is Monday try to figure out how we can get better. When your team has a big lead that slips away and then you have that dramatic shot at the end of regulation to force overtime, what do you talk about on the sideline as you're getting ready to over for overtime? <laughs> Just don't waste that, you know, understand. So we come out, we give up, we get in the jump. I don't know, we might have had a turnover and, you know, didn't get anything. They come down and score, then we have a turnover. We're down five and faces along and still got four minutes to go. But we talked about it. Don't waste, you know, great execution down the stretch when the game's over and not be prepared to play five of your best minutes. But didn't work out. But that being said, down to with the ball, the senior got the ball in his hands. I don't know what more you can ask.